Hi guys, this hyperlink challenge is called Drawing Book. Here we have a book and the first page in that book is always page one and it's on the right. So every page except the last one is always printed on both sides of the book. But the last page can only be printed on the front. So the question now is, let's say we have a book that has n number of pages and we want to reach page P. What is the minimum number of pages that we need to turn? We can start at the beginning of the book or at the end of the book, it's up to us. So this is the solution. I'm going to explain it in a moment, but the solution is simply one line of code. We have this uh, function. The function name is already provided for us and it has two int parameters. The first parameter is called n that corresponds to the number of pages. And the second parameter is called p and that is the page that we want to reach. So in our solution, we are using the mean function in C++ because we want to return the minimum out of two possible values. The first value means that we are starting from the beginning and it's going to be P divided by two. The second value meaning that we're going to flip the pages starting from the end of the book. And that is going to be N divided by two minus P divided by two. So whatever is the minimum between these values is going to be returned as an integer. So let's see why this works. Let's say I have this, this is my book here. You can see page one is always on the right. Then when we turn that page, we have pages two and three, and then we flip again and we have pages four and five, then six and seven, and finally the last page eight. So n is going to have the value eight because we have eight pages. And let's say we want to reach page five. How many pages do we have to flip? We can start from the beginning or from the end. We know that we need to turn two pages because when we open the book, we have page one. So we turn one page, we have two and three, and we turn another page and then we have page four and five, meaning that we've reached page five after two page turns. If we start from the end, then we open the book at the end, right? We have page eight, so we turn it and we have pages six and seven. We turn it again and then we have pages four and five, meaning that after two page turns, we've reached page five. So whether we start from the beginning or from the end, we need to turn two pages first. So let's see if our formula is going to give us two. P divided by two, that is equal to saying five divided by two, that is 2.5. But because we are only dealing with integers, I'm going to truncate that because that is going to be truncated. Whatever comes after the decimal point is going to be removed. So it's going to be two. Second value is going to be N divided by two minus P divided by two. We've just seen that P divided by two will give us two after we truncate it. And N divided by two is equal to eight divided by two, which is four. So what is four minus two? Well, that is two. So the minimum value between two and two is also two. And that is correct. We need to flip two pages to reach page five. Now let's see if uh, we want to access page three. Well, in this case, it would be better to start from the beginning, but let's see if our formula is good enough to give us one because we need to turn one page. First, we open the book, we have page one, we turn the page and then we have pages two and three. So let's see now, I'm going to say the minimum of P divided by two. That is going to be three divided by two, which is 1.5. But because it's an integer, we need to truncate that. We are going to get one. And the second value is going to be eight divided by two minus P divided by two. We already know that P divided by two is one after we truncate the value. So A divided by two is four, four minus one is three. Meaning that if we want to reach page three from the end, we're going to have to turn one page, another page, and finally another page again. So we've turned three pages to reach page three, starting from the end. That is what we have here, it's correct. If we start from the beginning, however, we're going to open the book, we have page one. So we turn the page and then we have these pages two and three. And that is what we have here. We turn one page to reach page three. So what is the minimum number of page turns that we have to make to reach page three? Well, it's one. So you can see why this formula works. You can play around by changing the value of N and also of P if you want. But I'm just going to run this code now and you will see that we should pass all the test cases. So first sample test case zero and sample test case one, we've gotten the values that we are looking for. Now let's submit this code. And we've passed all the uh, 26 or 27 test cases. So that's it for this hyper challenge guys. If you liked my solution, please make sure you subscribe, 
turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time. Bye.